Hey everybody, Mobile Gamers Unite. Another wonderful day outside, but we're inside doing laundry after we got our hair cut. So, I wanted to make a recording today addressing a recording that I made. It's been a few days now, and it's kind of been resonating with me. And I don't feel like I really gave it my all in that video. And we're talking about Leon here, okay? Another thing too is in that video, I told you guys, hey, um, if anybody has an al alternative view on uh, Leon and his stats, uh, let me know. And some of you were nice enough to, you know, leave me your perspective on it. First and foremost, I would like to thank everybody on my channel. Um, you guys are awesome because what I kind of anticipated is that I would get attacked over saying anything about Leon because let's face it people um, you know their Leon is a status symbol a lot of people have a lot invested into him and I see people bicker back and forth about Leon and stuff all the time I mean this is Leon Grisser okay so for everybody that uh, you know shared your opinion with me in a in a nice manner thank you so much in fact there wasn't even one person that uh, <clears throat> there wasn't even one person that I thought was, you know, being offensive about this at all, which I think is absolutely awesome. So props to all you guys. But one person did share something with me, my buddy Keebs, and it did strike a chord with me a little bit. I really started thinking about this. Um, and I started thinking about a couple things that I missed in that video. Um, for instance, Assassins. We were talking about power levels. Well, for characters like Assassins, power levels don't really mean that much. That is a good example of a character where you just want to put as much attack onto an Assassin as humanly possible. Um, yeah, I hear people complaining all the time, I can't get my Assassin to 6,000 power level, and it's because their power level doesn't matter. Uh, a 5,000 power level Zarita can wipe out 6,000 power level characters. That's just all there is to it because a lot of your hero's power level has to do with hit points and things like that. And obviously for a unit like Zarita, you're not going to really be investing into hit points. You don't want to use those hit points. You'd rather have attack. So... And Keeves made a pretty good point. Let your tank be the tank. Let your assaulter be the assaulter. If Leon's a glass cannon, you know, um, so be it. Now, I will say this. I'm not... I've had my Leon set up both ways. And I'm going to leave my Leon set up the way that he is. Because it works for me. I'm very happy with it. And I'm clearing content with it. Uh, the other thing is, too, you know, who cares if your attack's only 1,400 when we have attack blessing and things like that. Um, for clearing content with powerful mobs, it does great for me, all right? But I think Keebs really hit at home when he was, I mean, he, he wrote me out a few paragraphs, and I really took the time to, to really think this over. And I did tell him I was going to make another video about this. <clears throat> For certain fights, Keeves is absolutely right. Um, let's see, whoa, off the top of my head. Who's that giant Amazon chick that we have to fight? Um, let's see. She is one of the, um, the, the Eternal Temple. Let's see, who are we fighting today? All right, we cleared this guy. The Amazon chick from the Eternal Temple, okay? When you're using Leon to fight in that fight, the only thing that matters is his attack score because he's going to end up on a healing block at the end of the turn anyway. So his hit points, his defense, none of that crap matters. The only thing that matters is how high is Leon's attack. And yes, for that particular fight, I would want a Leon with 2,000 attack if I could. So... That got me thinking, this is what I'm personally going to do. And I know a lot of people can't, you know, simply just do what I'm about to talk about. It's not an easy feat to accomplish. It does take a lot of resources. But 
I guess what I'm saying is in that the last video I made the real advice I should have given is set your Leon up however you want but it might be a good idea to actually roll a second set of gear for Leon that is what I will be doing it's gonna take me some time but pretty much um, when I go fight the level 65 Amazon I'm gonna wanna switch gear out and I'm gonna wanna get Leon's attack to you know, 2000 if I can because defense and hit points and none of that matters he doesn't take damage every turn as long as he can end on a healing block so there will be content like that to clear in this game now I know what I'm talking about doing is not easy to do okay you're you're probably only gonna be able to I mean maybe you're gonna be able to share your rune set personally for me I'm not right now I have breeze on Leon we'll take a look at him real quick and I will be putting a different rune set I will be putting a different rune set on his alternative gear um, as much as I love the Y branch uh, and it does ignore 15% uh, defense and I did roll 15% attack on it I think the weapon that gives Leon the highest attack and I could be wrong on this if I am somebody please correct me I think it's the seal guardian and I do have a seal guardian that I will be putting on Leon along with you know different armor different everything in fact is this it actually this one right here isn't bad I think this is the original seal guardian that I started rolling for Leon and I just put it on Matthew but this thing has 24 flat attack it also has 8% attack if this thing had like 12% or 15% attack it would be a freaking dream come true but it doesn't but this is what I'm gonna start with I obviously have to level this thing up okay uh, but the seal guardian I do believe is gonna give more attack than the Y branch so I'm gonna put the seal guardian on Leon and everything that I'm going to roll is going to be uh, to get his attack up I'm gonna try to get 5% attack on his armor and 10 attack on his armor if I can I'm gonna try to do the same thing with the headpiece I'm not gonna give a shit about any stat but attack and I think it will be very beneficial for me because I have so much stock into Empire into Bernie into these characters that it just makes sense to have a second set of equipment uh, for my Leon so that I can go into battle with a super high attack and the rune set that I want to use I think it is gonna be meteor in fact, let me just let me just double check that um, I, I, I do want to use meteor because breeze is giving you attack and damage dealt increased by 10% but really what uh, breeze is doing is 30% chance to increase mobility by two and that goes a long way for Leon he can tag people across the board so that's why I have breeze on Leon but even on the land grisser um, on their website in one of the information pages it was talking about how the meteorite uh, rune set is so good for Leon um, I think I have it on Matthew right now what is it if your enemy is above 60% health you do 20% more damage something like that let's see uh, crit plus 7% when attacking units with HP above 60% all damage dealt after entering battle plus 20% so this is what I'm gonna be going after I'm gonna be putting meteor on him I don't really care about the crit 7% that much for Leon it's not gonna hurt um, I'd much rather have 7% attack but hey but this when attacking units with hit points above 60% all damage dealt is 20 plus 20 percent that's going to be awesome for bosses that have a lot of health um, and obviously after you get them below 60 percent you're still gonna do you know pretty good damage but I think this is the rune set that I'm going to be sticking with for my second set of gear uh, for Leon and if you guys get the resources you might want to think about maybe following suit and doing the same thing it depends 
on how important of a character Leon is to you? How much do you have invested into him? You know, if he's bonded out, which a lot of people's Leons are, because, hey, he's a safe bet. You know you're getting one of the strongest attackers in the game. So, uh, you know, this might just be a good idea for some people to do. You can have a set of gear that's more for PvE and has a little bit more survivability, and you can have a set of gear that is just balls to the wall damage, that real good boss layer type shit. So that's what your boy's gonna be working on. So I have to thank all of my followers and everybody that watched my last video and gave me some input, gave me some knowledge to chew on and think about for a few days. Um, and after processing all of that, this is what I came to and this is what I'm going to be doing. Now, I wouldn't have come to this and, and I'm always talking about how the reason I make these videos because I love this game so much and I'm always saying, hey, I'm trying to learn too. You know, this is part of the learning process for me. I feel like if I hadn't have made that video and if Keeps hadn't have critiqued me a little bit and taken the time to write me a few paragraphs, um, I wouldn't have thought of this. And I think this is going to be a huge, huge help for me and maybe for other people out there too. So shout out to Keebs. Thank you for making me think, bro. Really, thank you. Uh, this is going to enhance my gaming experience. It's going to take a while to pull this off. Um, but I will be starting to work on this pretty soon because, let's face it, my Empire team's not going anywhere. I have so much invested into it. And I think there's going to be people in the same boat as me out there, and they might just want to do this. So, hey, uh, if you think this is good advice, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. Um, if you think this is terrible advice and it's a huge waste of resources, I don't know. Let me know. Let's discuss it, okay? So my floor is always open to uh, group discussions. I'm all about it because, hey, this is how we learn. Oh, and while we're at it, while we're talking about Leon, I need to point out one thing that I see a lot of people do, and I don't know if they realize that they're doing this or not. Pretty much, we all know that when Leon moves up, um, for every block that he moves up, his damage goes up and his, uh, his defense goes up. It's right here in his talent. <clears throat> Let's see. For every one block moved up, damage increased by 4%, defense increased by 20%, can move another three blocks again after attacking. That's a pretty amazing talent. What I'm saying is I'm seeing a lot of people not applying this talent correctly. And what I mean by that is chivalry. I can't even count off the top of my head how many times I have seen somebody move their Leon up five blocks, move them right next to the enemy, use chivalry, and attack. When you do that, you are not getting the bonus for Epic Knight. It is not going to count the movement that you did before you use Chivalry. And to so a lot of people, this is going to be common sense, but I see this so much. I see this all the time. When I use Chivalry, I make sure I'm, I try to be three blocks away from my target when I activate Chivalry. Because chivalry activates, you get to move again, it counts as a separate action, and that's why it moves your clock uh, count forward on all your cooldowns. So as soon as you activate chivalry, this epic knight talent starts all over again. So you want to activate chivalry three blocks away from an enemy so that you can move three blocks up to him and you can get your added damage and your added defense and all that good stuff. So... I don't know, this is just something that I've been seeing a lot of, all right, and I just wanted to throw that out there. So, Mobile Gamers Unite, thank you everybody for all the food for thought. I really appreciate it. Um, I feel like this is kind of helping me get through a threshold, and I'm pretty happy about it. I'm going to be working on his new gear set. And I will gladly showcase it to you guys when it's done. And I do think it's going to be used a lot. So, again, shout out to Keebs. Thank you for making me think. And everybody else that commented and joined the discussion and uh, kind of made, made this thought a reality. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Um, keep all the love coming. 
keep on supporting me and I will always do right by you guys that I promise all right I'm never gonna be on here trying to make a dollar I'm never gonna be on here trying to sell you guys some crap if I made t-shirts I probably sell them at cost and I would do that just because I think it's a cool shirt right so um, that's where your boys at that's where I stand on everything and I hope you all have an awesome day all right and like I said on my earlier videos uh, challenge yourselves today see if you can clear some new content I did I'm pretty happy with it even went and got a haircut so everybody go have a productive day and have a nice day always and I'll talk to you guys soon thank you so much everybody thank you for the support